2020 beta lineup test ride review let's start off with this will be my personal opinion of the bike some i liked more than others where people like the bike i did not start off with the bike i am familiar with the 250rr very good power all the way through the range just like my 2019 nice smooth motor now that it's counterbalanced really wish mine was counterbalanced now RR is not much different over the 250. Second gear is a little bit hotter of a motor, but when you run it on third gear, you can really notice the extra torque this bike has over the 250. The 300 race edition. First thing I noticed was the suspension. The bike felt planted everywhere I went with the new KYB forks. I didn't one bit feel like I had to fight the bike to get to go where I wanted to go. Let's jump over to the four strokes. First, the 430 RRS, which I didn't like one bit. I couldn't really get in a groove on this bike. Everywhere I went, it just did not feel like I wanted to flow through the woods. The bottom end, I don't know why, it just didn't feel like I had it. It felt like it wanted to just die all the time. But this is one of those bikes that everybody else liked but me. The 390RRS has a lot better feel than the 430. It also does not feel as heavy as the 430. The 430, you can notice the weight on it compared to a two-stroke. But the 390, the power delivery is a lot better. Doesn't feel like it wants to stall on you, but still not impressing me enough to want a four-stroke bike again. Now jumping on the 350 race edition, I was kind of expecting the same as I did on the 430 and the 390. Nothing amazing, but with that KYB suspension, I was proved wrong. The bike just flowed everywhere that I wanted to go, almost just as good as a two-stroke does. The power delivery on this bike is just straight out amazing. The second gear had all the power you would ever want, but in a nice, smooth way. And then when you shifted the third gear to these tight woods, it had plenty of torque to pull itself in third. Never once felt like I was going to kill it, stall this bike. It was just amazing. Five hundred RRS. Like, really? Out here in this single track? No way it's gonna work but for whatever reason it does like i don't even know how i felt way better on this bike than the 430 and the 390 it just did not make sense it doesn't feel heavy the motor didn't feel like it was too much power it never wanted to die on me man this bike is amazing 
the suspension felt great for stock suspension. I like the idea that I could just jump on this bike, ride it to a race, and actually race it and compete. One twenty-five. Okay, reality check. Six foot six on one twenty-five. Not really practical, but I was there, tried it out. Like any other one twenty-five, doesn't have the torque. You gotta run the heck out of that motor. But the power band wasn't crazy either. I didn't feel like I was out of control on it. I actually did pretty decent on it. After a rough time adjustment in the tight woods, it, it got around pretty good. Now we're on to the 200RR. That's about like the 125, other than there's way more torque. It's actually a very nice motor and you get an e-start instead of a kicker only. Spoiler, if I had to choose between an X-Trainer and this bike, it would be the 200. The Cross Trainer. And here's the bike that a lot of people really love and buy all the time. And I finally just tried one out and it's not for me not one bit it's really light which is you know that's nice but it's really low which six foot six again tall and the power was just weird by the time i rode it there was a big dent in the pipe i could have taken away some torque but it just didn't feel like i wanted to rev out and it didn't feel like i had any torque so it was kind of a so how are you supposed to ride it it's marketed for a certain type of people, and I'm not that person. I'm a racing person, and it's designed for people that are just getting into the sport. Well, I hope you like my review, and it's helpful. Again, just take it with a grain of salt, since it's just my opinion for my style of riding and racing. I wish I could have gotten lap times to compare bikes to each other, but just for the feelings and other people saying the same thing as me mostly, they're still pretty good bikes.